So the ancient Egyptian potter uh, probably didn't have quite as nice of a setup as, as we have here. Uh, more than likely, they worked on the, the ground. Uh, there'd be large pottery uh, shops, as you could so-called say it, uh, which were just wide open areas. We have uh, a couple things here. We have our clay that's been mixed with water, uh, ready to go. It's a fairly soft clay, fairly plastic. To work with, a little rough, but not too bad. Uh, some water uh, to keep our clay wet. Obviously, working in the, the desert sun, uh, the dry hot air would dry your clay out fairly fast, so they would need water to keep this clay wet. Uh, they'd probably wrap wet cloths or linen or other clay that was waiting to be used. Um, and then we would also have some sawdust temper, uh, either chaff or straw, some natural material to add to the clay, uh, again to open up the, the pores of it and to increase uh, the structural strength. Uh, to add this to the clay, they would typically uh, probably wedge it in in some fashion uh, or mix it in, either by a kneading motion, uh, just slowly pushing clay into the, or sawdust into the clay mixing it up, and just work the clay, adding sawdust to it. For our forming processes of just uh, simple coil, pinch pot methods, slab methods, uh, we really don't need to worry about air pockets or air bubbles in the clay. Um, and even then, uh, on the wheel, it's not a great concern more so with working than with actual firing. Uh, little air pockets or uh, air bubbles in the clay won't cause any problem during the firing process. They won't explode or blow up. Uh, water is the, the bigger enemy with uh, heating up clay. Uh, but it will change the wall thickness if you have a large air pocket on the side of your wall. Um, obviously you have thin pieces of clay and if that pops, you'll have an open cavity in there. So, um, removing Fairly large pockets of air is good, but little tiny ones aren't really going to hurt. The primary starting point of the base um, could either start with just a flat base section at the bottom. start adding coils to that. Again, how coils were made um, is our best guess. Um, there's multiple ways of making coils. You can roll them out uh, surface, creating nice even coils, uh, various diameters. Uh, you can also take Coils and roll them out in your hand. And then uh, you don't even necessarily need to have a coil, you can just take a chunk of clay and just slowly pinch it and kind of deposit a coil around the edge. So, again, depending on the, the potter, how he was working, uh, you get various methods. But as you can see, as I'm laying down the, the coil, I'm compressing it with the layer that's below. And typically I'll insert a couple coils here and there, and then I'll start smoothing out the surface. And I'm just using my finger, scraping the edge and kind of pinching with my left hand as I'm doing this. Uh, this is a piece that I made just a little bit earlier today. Uh, the bottom is, is fairly dry and hard, uh, but still wet and soft. It hasn't changed color. It hasn't lost a lot of its water. Uh, it's a lot stronger than what these are. Uh, and I could continue to finish this piece.
can't apply a, a paddle and anvil type method. This does a, a couple things. One, it compresses the clay um, as I hit it with this wooden stick uh, against my hand on the inside. It will compress the, the walls, makes the clay a little bit tighter. It also allows me to shape the clay to my own uh, lip here. Smooth it out, even. And basically I'm rolling out a coil. It's going to go on the piece. It's a handle on this. A light handle style. Place those on the side. And when I attach these, I'll score. Uh, just basically scratch the surface where I'm going to attach them. And then add a little water or slip. And slip is just liquid clay. It kind of acts as a glue. Um, we call this scoring and slipping. Apply some pressure to make sure it sticks. So when I do my holes, I'm going to come in here and I just have a basically round stick. And I'm just going to pierce this through. Right the other side, supporting the clay as I do this. any more cracks that may appear through the drying stage, um, correct the lip just a little bit more. Right? 